Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Taurus weekly money and career reading from March 18th to the 24th, 2024. Taurus, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Taurus weekly money and career. March 18th to the 24th, 2024. Thank you all for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below and be subscribed. I will pull two names by the end of the month of March. I will announce them in the last live of the month. I do lives every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time for anyone that's interested. If you become a member of this channel, that will give you access to a free question during the live. All right, let's get started. Taurus. What energies do we have for this upcoming week? March 18th to the 24th, 2024. The Four of Wands. Knight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, building, planning, exciting. You're celebrating this new team, this new project, or you're starting a new job, you're starting to work with these people. It's exciting. It's exciting with this Knight of Wands. I like this. Now, are you eager? Do you want to impress or someone else wants to impress you right um whatever it is you're completing a task or you're starting this new job you brought it all together it is the beginning and it's um you're choosing this right you're ready to begin you're on this new journey and you're celebrating i think that you want to impress you want to impress with your skills with your knowledge and it's very enthusiastic. It's a very enthusiastic energy. It's perfect for a new project. Uh, you're likely really, really passionate about this. Um, you're, you're taking new responsibilities and it feels like you're taking, this is taking you to a whole new level. Yes, whole new level, big change. Big change in understanding and clarity or finally, things are becoming clear. You're getting your answers. There's an offer there. It's moving forward. Six of Cups. You, you're moving forward either with an idea that you've had for a while, bringing back up this idea from the past, or you're working with past co-workers or friends or family members bringing it back someplace or you're planning to bring back this idea back home closer to home or maybe you're it's a family a family business something like that there's a change oh okay so this is a this is a dynamic of excitement to build a business, to be part of that team, to get that new job, whatever it is, right? This project you're developing, you have that plan, but suddenly you're realizing that with this high priestess, um, you're gonna move forward or there's an offer here that makes you rethink something to go work with past colleagues or bring up past ideas it's almost like you're realizing that this job or business has to be built uh, on a healthy foundation and that to do that maybe it's important to um rely upon the basics or your family or people you worked with in the past to 
um, to be able to build upon that. But it's moving forward and you're comfortable. You're comfortable with your choice once you realize it needs, it needs to be done in a certain way or you need to start it or build it or plan it with people that have that experience, with people you have had, you've worked with in the past, or maybe you're taking a whole team with you, right? To build something new, a whole team from the past. Or, or you're traveling to build this business somewhere else. The foundation's gonna be somewhere else, closer to comfort, something like that. Because with the high priestess is one, allowing more skills to come in, but also revealing what is most important, revealing the information, revealing the, I don't like to say secrets, right? Because this is, it's revealing something that pushes you to go back to some people or to um, go back somewhere or to utilize the information, the knowledge, the experience you've had in the past to build, right? That's that sudden wake up or sudden realization that that's the way it has to be. So either you bring your business somewhere else or you bring another team in from the past or you're moving because you have the six of pentacles on the bottom which tells me that you want that balance you want it has to be balanced for you to be able to build upon and you're comfortable with this shift it's a shift with the tower and i feel like it's a shift because you're getting information or answers or messages regarding this job, regarding this business or this project, whatever it is that you're very excited about, but you know that it's risky if you don't shift it somewhere else or gather the information and have a new team or something like that. Comment down below. Let me know if you connect. Let me know if this is your situation, if you connect with these energies. Yes, a lot of pages coming up in these readings. Fresh energies. I love this. Um, it's all about uh, renewing energies and wanting, being curious again and wanting to work with new people, going on a new path, connecting with a, a whole array of another pe of other, like tapping into new energies, tapping into fresh. And maybe this is something you manifested maybe that's you know it's the ability to bring it together uh, the initial stages uh, of this project and that's why you're understanding that it's essential once you get this information or these answers back or these conversations or the, it feels like information um you're realizing that the setup the foundation for the success is going to be created somewhere else or you're planning to do it in it your strategies are changing and putting these plans in action have to become um of have to go back to sources or back somewhere else and it feels like all around you um, it's important for you to reach out and it's important for you to reach out to these people from the past um i feel like if you do that work or if you um are okay and open to contact these people i don't think you're afraid to put yourself out there to achieve this but sometimes I know you like to be in control, but I think that you're, you're clearly understanding that it has to be done a certain way to be able to sustain. And we have the lovers and the lovers keeps coming up, keeps coming up in these readings, like the fourth or fifth reading I've done. And it's all about aligning 
these choices, this decision to go back to something or to uh, build it somewhere else near your hometown or in another country or in a place more appropriate or with a team that you already worked with, something that makes sense to you, right? Is in alignment with your values, in alignment with um, who you want to be in this lifetime and how you connect with others and it's almost like this is what i have to do these are the people i need to work with these are the best people uh if we don't do it that way it's not going to succeed and i think that this is about you connecting and what level you want to connect and also what you're standing for right how you're clear on your values and your belief system and how you're going to build upon that and there we go. A lot of messages, a lot going on, a lot of communication can be moving, can be traveling, but if it's really an energy pushing forward, but also you understanding how it's going to shift and change and how that decision is going to change everything. Very interesting, very, very interesting. And the lovers keeps coming up. That genuine, clear vibe, no mask, no filter, like everyone likes, right? You're genuine in your, in your approvals. I don't know why I'm saying that. In your attitude, in your connection with others. It's genuine. Yes, working hard. Very good at what you do, very skilled at what you're doing, but um, repetitively um, organizing, planning, uh, signing documents, or maybe it's a proposal, or maybe it's um, um, a presentation, or maybe it's an object, a product, what, or this business, this vibe, right, that you're, you're so clear on, you, you're working on uh, incessantly making it better fine-tuning something, fine-tuning an idea. Very productive. All right, let's see if there are a few more cards that want to come out in the second reading. Trying to make these a little less long. Yes, you're leaving. So you're leaving a position behind, understanding that that's not going to work. Either that team is not going to be okay for this production or this job or this project, whatever it is. You're leaving that behind because it's not going anywhere. It's not going to be productive. You're not going to be able to build upon that. You're not going to be able to build upon that and become successful. You feel stuck. And that's when you realize you have to take this somewhere else or bring a new team in there, fresh new ideas, because it's very exciting. But you have to make sure you're with the right people to be able to develop this. And if it's not you in control, if it's not your business, your idea, your team, you're part of a dynamic that's going to be shifting either places, cities, countries, or teams, or dynamics, something is going to be rebuilt in a different way or in a, or in a different locality. Yes, page, page, page. Pages galore in these readings. New ideas, uh, creativity, people coming together, uh, people pitching ideas, people wanting to create, putting yourself out there, wanting to do different things in different places. I love, I love this. Here we go. Again, a page. And pages are ambitious. It is new, right? Whatever this is, new job, new project, a whole new dynamic here, but it's exciting. It's exciting. Maybe you've been in the same old, same old for a while. Maybe you've had that same job, same business. And here, all of a sudden, you have this opportunity to participate 
in a project or in a business, whatever it is, right? It'll be different for everyone. And maybe it's a school you're trying to get into. And maybe all of a sudden you're realizing that the school close to you or what you had projected originally, it's not that. It's not going to work that way. You're not going to grow. You're not going to progress. It's not going to work right? You have to shift. You have to think differently. Think outside of the box and change localities. I keep hearing changing localities, moving, or, uh, or, or setting your project with up with another company or other people or partnering up with other people, whatever it is. Yes. And, and it's going to work. Nine of cups coming in, that wish coming in, and proud there you go the leading the way leading the way taurus you're making this happen you're confident once you make the shift once you make the change you're back on your horse and you're back on your in your leadership role and your energy is up right as you commit as you connect you know that this is something for you but yes you also know that this excitement uh this project this this way this very very ex i don't know what this is but it seems very exciting so either it's an innovative idea Maybe it's something people have never worked on before or right, something like that. Um, but it's almost like you're really, really proud. And I'm not surprised, really proud of realizing and understanding. Maybe you're the one realizing that you have to do things differently. Maybe you're the one making that decision. And maybe you're the one understanding that you have to relocate or work differently or in a different dynamic with different people, whatever it is. Or or there's a team on the other side of the world or on the other side of your country that's working on that same thing and you're partnering up or joining your knowledge to build something. That's the way it feels. It's it's powerful it's very powerful and all these pages young people right working young energies working or the beginning of the state you know the, the beginning stages of this new business project job whatever it is curious alert right full of ideas full of ideas a lot of energy debating debating all ways um but it's also quick-witted, right? These people, it's, it feels like you're joining teams with either another entity or another company or another uh, team somewhere uh, in the world to produce something or to work on something in common. And so it's a lot of training maybe, it's very ambitious, a lot of goals, maybe extra education thrown in there, right? Maybe you need that training or maybe you need to take those classes or, or the team has to, but it's really, really the beginning of um, that, that project where you need all, all the experienced people you can. And so maybe you're picking around the world the experts in that field to join a team to be able to um, to work on this project idea, whatever, whatever it is. Um, it's exciting. It's very exciting. All right. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Taurus Weekly Money and Career. Yes, you have the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords, which knowing that, yeah, it's not going to work that way, right? That That's the moment where you realize that, oh, okay, that you, you can't work with those people or can't work with that entity. You're not going to have enough money or they're not listening to you. It's frustrating because these people are not listening to you. They're not aware or they're not, they don't have enough knowledge or you're not with the right people. And that is opening your mind to, oh, okay, let me connect with something else or let me go search. Let me figure out who I'm going to work with or who we are going to work with or who, what this company or maybe this company has to go search, right? To find those, those experienced people to join the team. That's the way it feels. All right. And we have, yes, the star believing, healing, but also 
uh, bridging that gap between that dream and that reality, right? We have a vision, we have a dream, we fantasize about that career, that job, that product, that success, the money, but then when we put it on paper, when it's actually um, time to start building in 3D, right? Um, we realize the difference. We realize that we have to bridge the gaps, right? That it's not exactly the way we thought it was going to be, that we either need more money or more people, or we have to reinvent, shift, change. And that's exactly it. Shifting, changing, realizing what you need to bridge the gap. And there we have the Knight of Wands. Again, it's exciting. It's uh, ambitious. It demands a lot of um, awareness and clarity in figuring things out logistically, making sure you have the budget and you're connecting with the right people. But it's very powerful, very, very powerful, um, Taurus. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Sometimes I have to control my energies. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Gratitude to all for supporting this channel and pushing, pushing this channel um, in, in to pushing my energies, right? In making this channel what it is. Uh, I feel like this is... Hmm, the magic word here is clarity or... awareness awareness you are completely becoming aware of the needs the obligations the solutions right awareness so the magic word is awareness if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading all you have to do is put the word awareness down below in the community section in the comment section not the community the comment section and be subscribed uh, thank you again so much for watching. Uh, Taurus, have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.